Ngomizulu's argument is mathematically flawed. Chris Hani, so I just said I should mention it because you know nobody mentioned it. Then Mr. Dupree responded, my lord, thank you very much. Then the court asked, just check if that bridge is there because you spoke about a roof which could possibly interfere with the reception of the GPS, you remember? The court asked the following question on the 24th of November 2023 at page 5 regarding the fact that the vehicle went into GPS unlock mode. In other words, it was unable to pick up a signal. <coughs> um, and the, the, the court asks as follows. So this vehicle, if it is going to Morocco, going from, um, it says Ariton, it moves around that area. Chris Hani, so I just said I should mention it because, you know, nobody mentioned it. Then Mr. Dupree responded, my lord, thank you very much. Then the court asked, just check if that bridge is there because you spoke about a roof which could possibly interfere with the reception of the GPS, you remember? Then Mr. Dupree said, my lord, uh, uh, absolutely, and he, he did show that bridge on the, um, on, on, on the screen. Just one aspect. I'm sure it will show in the, in the evidence. A judge has a right or is entitled to take judicial notice of any phenomena or fact which is notorious and known in that area. And I indicated that uh, that bridge, Paraguanas Bridge, is a geographical phenomena which is constant and constantly there since it was built in the 60s or 70s. And this, I said, it's because Mr. Debris said the satellite transmission of the vehicle is affected by the lack of contact with the mechanism in the vehicle as it records because of the surface it encounters. There is a, a bridge which was displayed in court. It's a, yes. it's a huge bridge, it's cement, and that satellite can't pierce through cement, common cause. Yes. Okay. So Mzansi, it's only fair that when I ask you to comment and you do comment and you bring up some valid points that I also take that into consideration. And today's uh, video is going to be dedicated to a comment from one mathematician, I want to say, who came through with all the math knowledge in the comments. And we cannot ignore this as members of the public watching this case. Unfortunately, he should have also been... He, she, I'm sorry if I'm mis uh, genderizing you, but I feel this person should have also been called as a state witness. And I know some of you are arguing that there might be some bias in my commentary. Not at all. My commentary is actually based on what is coming across. And if the state is not doing a good job in representing their case, I am sorry, we are going to bring it to the forefront. But that's a long intro. Let me go ahead and jump into this comment. So first of all, thank you for commenting. If you're watching this video right now, go ahead and like the video. If you don't like the video, comment below. Tell me why you don't want to like the video so that I understand. Okay. And also, so here goes the comment. I start right here. I am going to be reading it and I'm going to try to make it not. It's a very long comment, but it's a very valid comment. So please stay till the end because it brings up some very, very good points. Also, why does this comment gravitate towards me? I did mathematical statistics, so I should, you know, salute my colleague here. Okay, here goes. Ngome Zulu, Ngome Zulu's argument is mathematically flawed. Da, 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 da. Briefly, this is how GPS navigation systems work. I think this is important for us all together. This is my commentary. I think this is important for us to pay attention to this because, yeah, in order to understand what happened on that bridge, we also need to understand how GPSs work. And why didn't that GPS expert, Mr. Sir, over there on the witness stand explain this? Because this comment explains it so well. Okay, here goes. A GPS receiver must at all material times be receiving data from at least four satellites if this condition is not met the receiver will go to gps unlocked okay okay and it will then scan for the best satellite signal around satellites are scattered across the earth in the orbit Concrete and metals reflect radio frequencies. Judge Rata went into this. Okay, okay. Um, the car doesn't have to be exactly under the bridge to lose one or more satellite signals and to go 
to GPS unlocked mode while scanning for the next available satellite signal. That, that's a fair comment. So as well, angle of the communication determines the quality of the connection. Let me leave it here with technology with, let me leave it here with technological jargon. Let me tell you, it gets really, it gets really mathematical here, but I, I'm still going to read the comment as it is. Now he goes into this part of the math. Go to simple mathematics from 15, 48 so from 3 48 p.m avl recorded a speed of 4.xx kilometers per hour again at 16 hours at three minutes past four it recorded a similar speed of 4.xx kilometers per hour using math formula here goes guys speed is equal to distance over time i cannot believe that math formulas have followed me into youtube commentary but i have to be fair and and since i ask you guys to comment and you this guy this person took their time to comment i have to be fair okay so they continue delta time is approximately 15 minutes so that's 0 0.25 hours and avl shows a distance traveled during the GPS unlocked as 9xx.yy meters, uh, 0.9xx kilometers. If I still remember well, approximately one kilometer is, oh man. Okay, so approximately, <laughs> you, you have a point, you have a point. So approximately one kilometer per um, quarter of an hour. So for every 25 minutes, you're traveling, uh, 25, for every 25 meters, you are traveling approximately one kilometer, which is equal to four kilometers per hour. Meaning, man, I can literally see my math teacher drawing this formula, but meaning an approximate constant speed of 4.xx kilometers per hour from point A, there we go, from 1500 hours, 50, from, oh my God, from 12 minutes to four to point B at 1603 was maintained by the car. This concludes that the car didn't stop. Oh my God, this is brilliant. I, I, I will give this to you as well. Unless there is a significant change in speed recorded. Um, unless there's a significant speed recorded before and after the GPS unlocked mode. Somebody tell Valoi about this comment because, oh my God, this, this you know what? It, I can't argue it. I cannot argue with the numbers. People lie. Women lie. Men lie. And numbers don't lie. And this comment proves that the car maintained the same speed, even though it was GPS unlocked. Under that bridge, through that bridge, near that bridge, before the bridge, before the gate. <clears throat> Is the, bridge the, is the bridge the problem? No, it is the satellite signal. There have to be four satellites connected. If one of them fails, the GPS goes to automatic GPS unlocked. I stand educated today. Thank you for that comment. Let me know down below your thoughts on this. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like to the video, please. It uh, helps the channel grow and it absolutely helps the video. Um, go wider. And I think this is a comment that more people need to be aware of in terms of why GPS unlocking happened. And here's another comment in support. And this comment says, nonsense. So he's saying all the torture took five minutes when the car was under the bridge. Danzi lied that he was at work when Senzo was shot and it was proved that he was not there. He cannot be trusted. Where is the traction? Where is the transaction that he did on that day through his Captech account? Mzanzi, your comments down below didn't Danzi lie. But we know it's not the defense's responsibility to prove that Danzi lied. It's the state's responsibility to prove Danzi lied. I can't wait to read your comments down below. Your thoughts on these two comments today um, from, of course, our unfiltered family. Thank you so much for keeping the comment section going. Remember, it is free to comment. It is free to like. It is free to subscribe. It will always be free. If you press the thanks if you press the thanks button and you felt this video was helpful, that is not free because therefore um, you're sending money to the creator. So let's let's continue communicating down in the comment section. Thank you so much. You guys have been awesome. Uh, regained 
in 1603. That is its evidence. In between, where was this vehicle? And when he put the actual image of Paraguanat after the court has canvassed the issue of a bridge, it has been put by that witness during my cross-examination to say that bridge is after the gates of Paraguanat. It's after the gates. It cannot be said that the location was caused because that vehicle was under that bridge. If it was under that bridge from 1558 to 1603, what was, what was it doing at that time? So the evidence or the version of Ntanzi should be accepted to be both reasonably and possibly true because this thing comes from somebody who did not record anything from the 16th up to the 24th. It may be doubted of the presence of the police. There's authority to that effect. Having fully armed, and the person who was going to take the confession, a magistrate, felt threatened. How about the person who was under arrest? That should also be considered. Fine. Yes. And my lord, before I get into the I just want to get into the that uh, 